Hello, here's a new Blender tutorial for rigging and animating a low poly mesh. Here you can see the result, a short animation for a low poly model that I created, added the bones, assigned it to the mesh and this is what we are going to do right now. Ok, this is Blender 3 and the model that I created, it's a very simple one. It has a principal shader and an albedo texture assigned, but I switch again to the solid shading for adding the armature. This is the mesh in edit mode, you see it has three main parts that I can select by using the L key, this is the clap, then we have the knob and then of course the box. Ok, so what I'm going to do now is I will create an armature that has three bones that I will assign to these different parts of the mesh. So go to object mode and press shift and A to add an armature, this one that adds a single bone. And this single bone will be the root bone of the mesh with that I can move and transform the whole mesh. But to let it appear in front of the mesh I go to the armature tab and select in front. Alright, nice. Then I go to the bone tab and set the name of this bone to root. Ok, this is the root bone, then I go to edit mode, select the bone and I'm going to duplicate it by pressing shift and D. Ok, but before I snap the viewport so that I can move the duplicated bone along the x-axis only. Then I duplicate it and I move it here to the position of the knob. This bone will be for the knob, I scale it down by pressing the S key. Then I snap again the view to left autographic and I press the R key so that I can rotate the bone and I hold the control key down so that we can rotate in 5 degree steps. Then I press G and move the bone over here to the knob the position doesn't have to be perfect, but I just want to indicate that this bone is going to transform the knob. Ok, this matches and now I call the bone knob. Great, and again I snap the view, then I duplicate the bone, press shift and D. And then we move it to the location of the clap, first along the Y axis with the view snapped. Then I snap again to top autographic. And again I press the G key to move the bone to this location here, so that the head of the bone is at the border of the clap. Ok, because this will be the pivot point for the rotation when we are going to rotate the bone. If you like you can move the head of the bone over here just to indicate that this is going to transform the clap, but it isn't really needed. Then I call this bone clap and then we are done with adding the bones. The only thing we have to do now is to set the parent-child relation of the bones. So I select the child bones first, then the root bone with the shift key pressed and then I press Ctrl and P and select keep offset. This means when we are going to transform the root bone now the other bones will follow because they are children of this root bone. You see this here in pose mode when I move around the root bone. Alright, that's it for setting up the armature. Now we go ahead and rig the mesh. To do this I switch to the object mode and select the model, then with the shift key pressed I select the armature as well, then press Ctrl and P and select with empty groups. Great, and when we go now to the data tab of the mesh, then you see that three vertex groups are created, for root, knob and clap, the name of the bones. But we have to assign now the parts of the mesh to these vertex groups. So I switch to edit mode, select a vertex group, the first one is for the root bone, then hover over the box and press L to select the part of the mesh that we want to transform with the root bone and press assign. Great, then I deselect all by double pressing the A key, then I select the knob vertex group, then the knob mesh and again assign. You see that's simple and then the last vertex group for the clap. Alright and this was the rigging part, now you can go to the pose mode, but first I have to select the armature in object mode, then I go to pose mode, select the bone and you see when you move it around the mesh is following the movement. And the same we can do for the other bones, for example here for the knob. If you like you can use the move tool and you see you can move around the knob like that. And then I want to rotate the clap, so I select the clap bone 
and then use here the rotate tool to rotate it. Okay, now the model is rigged, we can also see this here in the material preview. And the next thing that I want to do is to create a very simple animation using these bones. So I pull out a timeline like this and select the bone for that I want to add a keyframe animation. I enable auto keyframe insertion so that every time that I transform the bone, a new keyframe is added to the timeline. Also when I press G followed by return for example, you see a new keyframe is inserted that holds the current location of the bone. And then I go to another frame for example 25 to store the end location of the bone and move it downwards like that. And then we have a simple moving animation, I set the end frame of the animation to 25 and then we can move the head of the timeline and you see how the bone is moving up and down. Very simple, now we do the same for the clap bone. I select it and be sure that the current frame of the timeline is set to 0. I press R followed by enter and the current rotation of the bone is stored as a keyframe, then I move to frame 25 and rotate the bone like that to open the clap. Again, this is stored as a keyframe and now we have an animation where the knob is moving up and down and the clap is opening and closing. Alright, that was it, but I want to announce a great animation blender course called Alive. It is made by P2Design and the link to the course with a promo code is added to the description below. It provides highly professional animation videos from basics to very advanced techniques. With that you can create animations for characters, animals and all kinds of hard surface models. The course contains 8 chapters with 153 videos and also exclusive rigged models and characters. As I said, the link can be found in the description and I also added a promo code there that is valid till the 19th of August. Don't miss it, check out the link in the description. So I hope you like the video and you find it useful, if you do then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook, support me by being my patron, this would be great, or join as a channel member here on YouTube. If you have any questions add these to the comments and I'll see you in the next one on JNM.